Good morning on Monday, March the 30th, again from the Watchman's basement. Uh, Malia is working up in the sunroom. I'm also broadcasting to you a little early today um, for a reason. It actually fits into the point of the service, uh, but glad you're here and uh, look forward to spending with you a little time with a daily dose of good news. Bible passage for today comes from the book of Acts, the 20th chapter. On the first day of the week, when we met to break bread, Paul was holding a discussion with them. Since he intended to leave the next day, he continued speaking until midnight. There were many lamps in the room upstairs where they were meeting. And a young man named Eutychus, who was sitting in the window, began to sink off into deep sleep while Paul was talking still longer. Overcome by sleep, he fell to the ground three floors below and was picked up dead. But Paul went down and, bending over him, took him in his arms and said, Do not be alarmed, for his life is in him. Then Paul went upstairs, and after he had broken bread and eaten, he continued to converse with them until it was dawn, and then he left. Meanwhile, they had taken the boy away alive and were not a little comforted. Here ends the reading. It's Acts 20, verses 7 to 12. Well, I have to tell you, this story brings me not a little comfort, as in quite a lot of comfort. I mean, the quite a lot of comfort that those disciples must have had when uh, they were able to carry away alive. This boy had fallen for three stories. As a preacher, I take not a little comfort in realizing that somebody actually fell asleep while the Apostle Paul, of all people, was preaching. And if somebody can fall asleep while a prodigious, prodigious preacher, like easy for me to say, uh, a well-known preacher like Paul, it can happen to the best of us. I also find masterful in this story another component that I'm going to attribute to the Holy Spirit. Uh, and that is the way uh, that Paul, while he's preaching, takes that moment and uses it an opportunity to demonstrate the good news that he's bringing. There he was preaching the eternal, eternal, immutable life we have in Christ Jesus our Lord. When this boy falls asleep to the ground three floors below. Now that's what I call a children's sermon moment. Because Paul, as soon as he hears what has happened, stops his speaking. Goes down to the boy and continues his preaching of the good news of life in Christ by telling everyone, don't be afraid, his life is still in him. I'm not coming to you live uh, today at 1030, but a little bit earlier, uh, because I'm going to be jumping on a telephone call. Doing, uh, I'm not speaking with you live, because I'm going to be jumping on a telephone call to do the work of preaching the good news with pastors around our synod, as we gather in a video conference with the bishop to discuss how we might best be uh, commemorating the passion of Christ in Holy Week that begins next Sunday. After that video conference this morning, we'll be video conferencing as a staff at Holy Trinity to develop those plans, and we'll be uh, communicating those with you as, as soon as we can, so be watching for those details. And as you watch for those details, realize that together we will not be a little comforted in the life of Jesus that the Holy Spirit raises among us. No matter the troubles that befall us in these uh, unprecedented times that we're experiencing together. In the life of the congregation, um, again, please keep in your prayers. Uh, Josh's wife, Katya, uh, who's been diagnosed with the, the COVID virus, she's doing well. Uh, doesn't seem to be a very um, a bad case of it at this point, but continue to hold her in your prayers. Um, Pastor Sally Paget at First English Lutheran Church, one of our partners. She is also away from her ministry right now um, uh, for the virus. Uh, be thinking about all the uh, medical professionals uh, that are working so hard, especially in places like uh, New York uh, that is having quite quite some difficult time now. 
be praying for all the school kids as they are um, getting back in action today. I think we may have uh, five uh, internet feeds going here in the Watchman House as everybody is off doing their thing, and, and Adrian is starting back to school again too. So uh, give thanks to God that we have that opportunity of communicating and staying in touch like this and over the internet, um, that our lives aren't more disrupted than they, than they already are. All for the wonderful, great reason of working together uh, to minimize the impact that this virus is having on, on the lives of our community. Be safe. Be well. We'll talk to you again. Bye-bye.